Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to my video blog. I'm Harold C. Connolly, Jr., Professor of Geology, Rowan University, School of Earth and the Environment, and Mission Sample Scientist for Osiris Rex, Koai on Osiris Rex, and Koai on Hayabusa 2. And there are now two spacecrafts in space going to two different carbonaceous asteroids to bring back samples to teach us about the origins of the solar system, how asteroids move, and to explore space and time together. So um, I am at Cape Canaveral. In the background is the Cape. Well, this is actually Cape Canaveral, but that's the launch pad area for the Kennedy Space Center and the Air Force Base. And uh, it's my last few hours here at uh, Cape Canaveral. I'm going back to New York today, where I will stay until Tuesday. I'm giving a, uh, well, I'm opening up, I guess, the open space uh, program at the Hayden Planetarium, which is going to be about Osiris Rex. How cool is that? <laughs> there were some 80, Thousand, reported 8,000 people here for the launch, physically watching the launch of Osiris Rex, which went absolutely flawless. I don't know how to explain the, the feeling. This was unbelievable. Uh, when they announced they were switching to onboard power, I knew it was going to launch. It launched on time. It was amazing. I don't know how many launches actually occur on, on time, or should I say on scheduled time, but I don't think it's that many, um, historically. So, I and I am and the Osiris Rex team and everyone involved in any way, shape, or form have now made history. The engines, the sound of the engines, the vibrations were amazing. I mean, just absolutely amazing. When it left the launch pad, I started to cry and I could not stop until the engines were separated from the center. I was, it was amazing. It was just, uh, yeah, so exciting. So uh, uh, I didn't make any real plans afterwards and there are many people I would have loved to be able to spend some time with who were my guests, especially Christian Kerbel and his wife Donna uh, from Vienna. I didn't get a chance to have a meal with them or um, Rebecca Oppenheimer from American Museum. I didn't get a chance to have a drink or a meal with, with her. So it was difficult in the sense of uh, trying to plan, but not at the same time because uh, I didn't know for sure what was going to happen. Obviously, that's uh, the way to go. So anyway, the joy in my heart, the uh, sense of accomplishment is wonderful now. Uh, I'm going to be bringing back updates of the mission to you, to Rowan University. Uh, and the students and faculty and friends there. Uh, Tuesday I get to go home to Glassboro, New Jersey and begin my quiet country life there. Um, but nevertheless, traveling, I'll still be doing, I'll still be doing a lot of traveling and I leave for uh, uh, Japan at the end of November to go to some meetings and the Hayabusa 2 Joint Science Team meeting to see how Hayabusa 2 is doing. To all those people who in any way, shape, or form, or in my life during the last eight years since I've been on Osiris Rex, especially the last four, thank you very much. Uh, I've learned so much from you, and your support has meant so much. And uh, I couldn't have done it without all, any uh, any of you. Everybody had a major role in some way, shape, or form. Um, in Buddhism, we have a practice called Guru Yoga, which seems exotic. But in my opinion, it's just common sense. Everyone is your teacher. And you have to remember that. And sometimes that's very difficult to remember. And if you can remember everyone's your teacher, then gratitude can spontaneously arise from that process. And I was fortunate to have John Flynn, Frick Curator, the American Museum of Natural History, and Dean of the Graduate School there, and his wife come down to the launch for 32 years in different ways, as I mentioned the other day, he's been advising me. And 
it was just great to be able to share it with him. Um, just fantastic. All right, so shout out to so many people who came down, Bjorn and his family, Paul Negi and his son, Regina Perugia and her husband, Beth, Marsha, she was like my daughter, Marsha, my student, Jasmine, her friend JP, um, uh, John Flynn again and his, and his wife, my uncle and my cousin Patty, my aunt Kyle came, who was amazing, going around introducing herself to everybody. Hi, hello, I'm Harold Dent. Hello, I'm Harold Dent. <laughs> um, and Ann and Anne Marie from California, Jan, Kathy, and Sam from California, Greg and his daughter Phoebe from California, his husband John couldn't make it, um, Omeo from Honolulu, uh, and oh, I think my list keeps going on, and I'm sure there are people that I would like to have a shout out to that I haven't. Uh, anyway, thanks to all of Mission Sample Science the team that I work with most closely, next to the PI and the Science Executive Council uh, on Cyrus Rex. You guys are really seriously awesome. We did a lot the last four years and it wasn't always easy and I'm so glad we all met those challenges and continue to move forward because in the end it's all about bringing that sample back from asteroid Bennu. See you everyone. <laughs>